Okay, so let's talk about use of extension cables on the GoPro series of Hero cameras with the external 3.5 millimeter mic adapter. So this is the external 3.5 millimeter mic adapter. If you don't like the microphones that are built into your Hero camera, as some of them can have um, some audio distortion issues, you can purchase this mic adapter, which plugs into the USB-C port on the side of your Hero camera and presents a 3.5 millimeter mic jack to connect an external higher quality microphone like the uh, Rode Video Mic uh, Mini. Unfortunately, the cable on the OEM mic adapter is very short and rather awkward to use with the Hero series of cameras. Additionally, because it's so stiff, this uh, generates problems, for example, if you're using a Hero uh, 5 session such as this in a gimbal, because the cable would have to be, would be fighting against the uh, gimbal action. As a result, uh, some users have proposed using uh, USB-C extension cables with the Hero series of camera. However, several have run into some problems with them not, with the Hero camera no longer recognizing the mic adapter once it's plugged into an extension cable. And today I'll be discussing some of the issues behind that. So first and foremost, there are several resources online that tells what the internal pinout on the mic adapter is and what pins they need from dismantling this. So on the USB Type-C connector, these GoPro adapters require pins uh, A3 through A7 to be connected, as well as uh, B, let's see, B2, uh, B3, B5, B6, and B7 uh, internally connected. If the cable does not have all of these pins connected, it will not recognize and function with the external mic adapter. So let's have a look at what happens. So let's power on the Hero camera. We'll plug a microphone into the mic adapter. It should be noted that you, can't, you, you cannot use the quick capture function with a microphone that requires uh, plug-in power, such as this with a mic adapter, otherwise it won't work. If you want to use um, quick capture, and that's just to press the capture button and have it start recording immediately. For example, if it was plugged in first and you, want, and you wanted to hit quick capture, have it start recording immediately, you need to use an external preamplifier such as this. This is one of these uh, photo weld uh, external mic adapters. And this will basically just supply power to the microphone and provide a output line into which powers the mic and provides the audio output into the external mic adapter. With this setup, it will work with quick capture because this box here is providing power to the microphone. However, let's just unplug that for simplicity and demonstrate what happens. So, powering on the camera and plugging in the microphone, it says mic OK. There's one uh, identified cable, which I know of so far, and that is the uh, cable co uh, connections, the CC0320, which does work with the external mic adapter. And you can see that here, if you plug it in, turn the camera on, and plug in the mic adapter, it says mic OK. The mic adapter will work, and I did test this, and it does work with audio. Uh, that's because this cable has those aforementioned pins connected. So let's take a look at using two USB-C breakout boards to uh, plug this in series with this cable. Now those aforementioned pins the, are connected between the two with jumper wires. That's pins A1 through A7, B2, B3, and then B5 through B7. Now, 
pins, uh, pin A1 is ground for the cable. A2, A3, B2, and B3 are the USB 3.1 Super Speed Plus pins. Those, uh, as far as I can tell, are used for identification of the mic adapter, but not data transfer, I think. Um, the USB 2.0... Um, high-speed pins, that's the A6, A7, B6, and B7, also must be connected for the external mic adapter to work. If those pins are disconnected, the mic adapter will be recognized, but will not transfer audio. In addition, the USB power delivery pins, that's A5 and B5, the CC1 and CC2 pins, also must be connected for identification of the mic adapter. So let's turn this on and see what happens. So the camera's on and plugging this in, it says mic okay. So it is recognized with just those mentioned pins. Now several users are saying that sometimes if you plug you can plug it in, it doesn't work, then you have to flip the connector around, plug in the other way. That will occur if either the B2, B3 pins or the A2, A3 pins are disconnected. For example, if the A2, A3 pins are disconnected, it will identify the mic adapter one way, but if you flip it around, it will not identify it the other way. So I think of the A2, A3, B2, B3 are used uh, potentially for identification, maybe not data transfer. The other thing to consider is that when using extension cables, if you have a male-to-male uh, -male connector and you use one of these gender changers, male-to-female, in this case, let's see what happens. If you plug it in, turn on the camera, and you plug this into the gender, gender changer, it does not recognize the mic adapter, and that's because either the CC1 or CC2 pins, that's the A5, B5 pins for USB power delivery, are not connected internally in these gender changer adapters. So although these gender changer adapters will run USB uh, 3.1 super speed data, they do not have the power delivery pins connected, likely because these cannot handle the three or five amp power delivery through the gender changer. And I uh, x-rayed this uh, connector and they, and it does have all of the data uh, pins connected. I verified that by probing it with these uh, breakout boards. So the issue with building an extension cable is that you just have to have those mentioned pins connected and then it will work. In so far as use with a gimbal, uh, this could be useful if you want to build your own USB extension cable that is very flexible so that when your camera is in the gimbal assembly, it can rotate freely without getting any resistance from the microphone cable.